I think space and Bremen is something it belongs together. Um, I, I know that Bremen has a rich history in space engineering. We have uh, countless uh, in numbers of institutes here at the university on the academic part, but also we have industrial companies and I think um, there's just like this space spirit. I think what's really special, I, the main thing that I got were the people after, after I moved here because they are really welcoming and really interested in who you are and what you do. So it was really easy as someone who isn't from, from Bremen or didn't grow up here to get to know new, new people. So I really like that. The city is really, really beautiful. I, I think from the very first moment I came here, when I first saw it at IAC in 2018, uh, it was just a, a fantastic livable place to be. And that combined with the job opportunities that we found, it was just really perfect. I, the city itself is very welcoming. There's lots to do and the downtown area is just gorgeous. So couldn't be better. Professionally speaking, Bremen is one of a kind of a city if you want to work in space research. So this is a place to be. And uh, other than that, uh, from personal side, I really like Bremen because it's not a big city which will overwhelm you like Berlin or something. So and it is not very boring. It is it is the right amount of mix of everything I will say. So it is calm, cool, and uh, lively. Uh, what I like about Bremen is that it's not that big as a city but it's also not that small so it's kind of in the middle and you can reach easily each corner by bike and uh, but also you have all the opportunities you would have uh, in, in a bigger city so i think that's the biggest advantage for bremen if you like research uh, then you would be attracted anyways to bremen but industry adds that a plus that uh, where you can actually apply your research. So research is one thing, of course, you can research and have research just for the sake of research, but having industry on your side is a plus because you can actually develop and implement your, your ideas. Bremen is a perfect place for the space and aerospace industry and for business who are producing big parts, not only because we are uh, working close to the airport. We've got the airport infrastructure directly close to our company um, site, but we have also the Bremen Harbor close, um, close by. So for, for um, all the products we are producing in Bremen, we can transport um, those via airplane or also via ship on the, on the Weser. In a nutshell, we can say I, I would have moved to, to the jobs that Bremen offers to everywhere in the world, but all the jobs I liked and loved so far were in Bremen. People that move to Bremen, people that visit us at Airbus see that the site, the Airbus site in Bremen, offers not only aircraft, not only space, not only extraordinary knowledge for future technologies. No, it's all together super close. And the network we have here is something that made Bremen what it is today, an extraordinary city for space. I'm originally from Bremen, so that's uh, uh, for me it was more a homecoming. So I think Bremen has the, the perfect combination in terms of like uh, both career-wise and, and for, for leisure times and, and value that you, that you get out of it. And so Bremen for me was an obvious choice because I knew of all the advantages and then seeing this opportunity that came up in, in OHB working on science exploration missions was exactly what I studied and what I aspire to work on, like these fascinating exploration missions. It was an, an obvious choice.
Welcome to ZAHN, the Center of Applied Space Technology and Microgravity at the University of Bremen. Here we are operating the Bremen Drop Tower, a large microgravity lab using the principle of free fall for experiments under conditions of near weightlessness. But how do we use free fall for microgravity research? What would happen if I had scales stuck to my feet and jumped from a diving platform into a swimming pool? It would show almost zero kilograms because I'm in free fall. The only weight shown on the scales would be the result of the air drag. We could observe exactly the same reaction of the scales if we were jumping on a trampoline. In this case, the scales would show almost zero weight all the way from going up to falling down again on the trampoline. And now we will see where the microgravity experiments take place. For a drop experiment, the capsule is pulled to the top of the drop tube to a height of 120 meters. From there it drops for almost 5 seconds before it lands in a container filled with tiny polystyrene balls, like these. The most extraordinary feature of the Bremen Drop Tower is the catapult system. It allows us to shoot the experiment from the bottom of the tower up to its top from where it falls down again into the deceleration container. This way, instead of 110 meters for a simple drop, we can use a distance of 220 meters for free fall, providing a microgravity duration of almost 10 seconds, unmatched by any other drop facility worldwide. Another important feature is the fact that the free fall takes place in a vacuum. It takes these vacuum pumps one and a half hours for pumping out 1,700 cubic meters of air out of the drop tube. Thanks to this procedure, we can eliminate the air resistance almost completely and achieve a very high quality of microgravity. The experiment takes place in only one millionth of Earth gravity. 
teams from all over the world and from all kinds of scientific fields come to Bremen to use the drop tower for their experiments. And the demand for experiment time is high. This is why we build another drop facility using a completely new technology which allows us to carry out hundreds of experiments every day. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Bremen Drop Tower. For more than 30 years we are carrying out experiments under microgravity conditions. And from now on we are doing this not only in the Bremen Drop Tower, which offers the world's longest microgravity duration, but also in the new Gravity Tower, which offers the world's highest repetition rate. Like the drop tower, the gravity tower is making use of the principle of a vertical parabola. Like on a trampoline, an object is already in free flight after an initial acceleration, during its fall up and when it's falling down again. So, how does this work? The gravity tower uses an airtight slider, which is accelerated against gravity and air drag by this hydraulic winch. Therefore, this system does not require a vacuum chamber. The Gravity Tower can perform up to 960 experimental flights each day and thus is able to meet the increased demand of scientific research. Scientific experiments require an excellent quality of weightlessness. Therefore, already during the initial acceleration the experiment is mechanically decoupled from the slider in all but the vertical axis. During microgravity time the experiment is fully decoupled and free-floating inside the slider. In this test flight you can see the gentle initial acceleration, the floating in weightlessness and the soft deceleration. This high quality and repeatable boundary conditions are essential for scientific research. The experiments we performed in the Gravity Tower so far showed that we achieved a very high quality of weightlessness similar to the Bremen Drop Tower. This means today we are offering the longest microgravity duration and the highest repetition rate worldwide. And the best thing is the scientists do not have to choose as both systems are 100% compatible. So they can easily perform the experiment in both facilities. Mm -hmm. 